So cardboard's been around for a while, and if you buy a lot of stuff on Amazon, you've probably gone through a lot of boxes. Well now with the help of a laser cutter, you can turn those old worn out boxes into pretty much any crazy 3D sculpture you want. Now nearly every other month, I get a new giant box delivering my dog's food. Since I'm never really going to use these boxes for anything else, I decided to see what I could make with them on the laser cutter. So I got my box, cut it up into a ton of flat sheets as large as I could make them, then found a model online. I went with a scaled down version of the 2020 Tesla Roadster, which who knows if it'll ever be released, but I decided on this model because I figured the long curves on this car would look pretty neat. So I designed a base and imported the car into Fusion 360, scaled it down, then imported that into Blender to create some texture on the bottom face. Then after sculpting it a bit, I sent it into this extremely handy tool called Slicer for Fusion 360. Essentially what this software does is slice any 3D model into different layers of determined thickness. So if you were to create some other type of model out of cardboard, this is how you do it. Here I can select my material specifications, then we can resize our model if we need to with these adjusters. And since I'm slicing this model into a bunch of layers, I'm going to choose stacked slices for this design. Then it'll give us a preview of what our slices are going to look like, and we can select assembly steps to view it in cardboard. Then over on the right side of the screen, it gives us a preview of all of our sheets. Then we can click on get plans in the bottom left to export it as a DXF file. Now we can import those sheets into the laser machine software and get some cool laser cutting time lapses. But before we get to that, now is the perfect time to show off this brand new Falcon 2 Pro 40 watt laser cutter and introduce this video's sponsor, Creality. As you may have seen, I've already made a review for Creality's original Falcon 2 22 watt laser, but this machine is an absolutely unbelievable upgrade. With 40 watts of power, a 360 view enclosure, and a built-in alignment camera, this machine is an absolute powerhouse. It seems like pretty much everything that could be upgraded from the previous model has been. Now we have an automatic lighting system to illuminate the workspace, a sliding tray to catch waste, a much more powerful exhaust fan, and this awesome 400 by 415 customizable cutting bed that can expand and contract or even lay flat. I mean, they even upgraded the exhaust tube clip from an old hose clamp to this new pinch clip. And as with their previous Falcon 2, the Pro model has the same awesome features like flame detection, an e-stop, and a security lock. It also has the same offline engraving capabilities, but now you can actually access the control panel and e-stop, which is great. For more details on what these safety features, monitoring systems, and the air assist module can really do, I recommend checking out my review for the original Falcon 2 machine, because those features are essentially the same. I'm genuinely blown away by the quality and capabilities of this laser. If you'd like to enhance your laser cutting workflow with the Falcon 2 Pro, I've linked it down in the description. And if you buy the 40 watt version of the Falcon 2 Pro, you'll be able to cut nearly an inch of wood in just one pass, and it'll come with an additional 1.6 watt laser module for more detailed engravings. Thank you Creality for providing this incredible machine. Alright, now back to the cutting. So now that we have our first sheet here, I can go to camera control, then update my overlay to view exactly what I want to cut on the Falcon 2 Pro's built-in camera. Then, since I can see exactly where my materials are in my work area, I'm able to center this cut around the cardboard's text so that it'll eventually be covered up by the other layers. And now we cut. So, so, so many layers. Finally, now I can start gluing each one together. This took a bit longer than I would have liked, so I skipped ahead for you. There, done. From old dog food box to a brand new car. Honestly, I really like how this project turned out. I think those curves in the Tesla really came out nicely. It's also really interesting how different it looks from various angles because of the corrugated texture. 
Alright, I hope you learned something or at least found this technique interesting. Leave a comment and let me know if you decide to create any crazy artwork with this tool or make use of those old cardboard boxes. As always, subscribe to stay up to date, and you can find my Patreon in the description for early behind-the-scenes content. Thanks!